Hello guys, it's Crackers. Welcome to May 14th, the day that the HGTV DLC has been released. I just finished downloading the game and we are having our first look. I know some of you or probably a lot of you have seen this already, but this is my first look. So we're going to do it my way. But anyway, we are at the loading screen and this is all the stuff that we are getting with the HGTV, which costed me about 10 bucks Canadian. So not a bad price at all. I don't know when it's coming to console or if it's coming to console. So I'll just throw that out there. But these are the things. We've got some houses. We've got a map with some new jobs. We've got, oh, they've added a gallery before and after. Oh, very nice. And some new items, which I am super excited about. Okay, so how do we get there? Let's head off to, is it Sunset Cove or something? I thought that's what their, what their, their whole deal was. But let's have a look here map of jobs I guess oh here it is here it is so how do I hang on a second here I just want to see browser uh, for purchase nothing okay so we must have to unlock them I'm assuming okay all right okay so here's the map and it looks like the only thing that's flashing here is this one. So I guess this is what we have to go and have a look at. Oh, it's a new beginning. Yes, it, yes it is. I'm so excited, you guys. Welcome to your first job in Sunset Bay. I had it almost right. Are you ready to help John and Nicole renovate the house of their dreams? While the house is small, the view is amazing. You will have to make some decisions when it comes to room arrangement. The shack under the stair or under the house is especially problematic. The shack under the house. What? Good luck. Oh, so we have a budget. We've got two choices to make. We've got seven rooms to do. Let's have a look, guys. So I'm not sure how we unlock. Do we have to do all of these this way? I'm not sure. Okay, welcome to your first job. Are you ready? Okay, we've already done that. Okay. Budget for the job. When you work on jobs in Sunset Bay, there is a specific job budget defined for each one. It's the amount of money that the family is willing to spend on their dream house. Remember to stay within the budget while renovating. Okay. So we've got a budget of $7,988.81. Can we do this? All right. So we've got some stuff to, to, to take care of. Oh, we haven't unlocked a lot of this stuff. Okay, so we have to unlock a lot. Okay, so we have to clean this stuff off, obviously. But let's just have a look here and see what's what. So this is, I guess, the shack under the stairs. Okay, let's get rid of this garbage. And let's see what we're left with. What is this? Okay, let's get rid of this stuff, guys. Okay, okay, so we've got some garbage taken care of. Um, so what is this? Okay, so this must be one of the first decisions. We have two to make. What should we do about that room? A sauna and a bathroom, being able to hop in the sauna after swimming in the sea sounds fantastic. So I, I have to agree there. Uh, just cleaning it up will suffice. This is a very capable storage room, maybe even suitable for a workshop. It could do with a chair though. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to take money into consideration too, right? But I mean, this sounds really nice for, yeah, let's do that. We're going to do a sauna and, I mean, and a bathroom, which ooh, could be challenging in here. Where in the heck? Okay. Yeah, we're going to be challenged there for sure. But let's, uh, before we end up doing that, um, I just want to have a look around, see this place. Okay, so it's just a house on stilts, looks like, and it looks like there's only one way in. So that is up these stairs. So let's go have a look up here. Oh, it's a nice little patio. I guess it doesn't matter which door we go in. Oh, we've got another decision to make right away. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's just have a look. 
it's not too bad like at least it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit it looks like yeah this stuff just uh oh doesn't look so doesn't look so bad once it's all cleaned up even the couch cleaned off pretty nice so we've got to clean some windows that's all fine this stuff is kind of old uh, but I mean will we have it in our budget to make it any better so you guys will have to let me know who all is planning to buy this or if you guys are still kind of on the fence or checking it out first before you decide you can make this bed too okay okay so let's make our decision up here I guess it's a pretty small little place nothing oh we gotta just hang on a second here let's clean this off there we go much better we'll do the windows after okay so let's have a look here decision time this living room is definitely missing something so she wants Definitely a TV. The room feels so empty without it. We can add some decorations, a carpet, and a few potted plants. Okay. And a fireplace could make this room feel more complete. A large corner fireplace would introduce a modern touch to the interior and make evenings even more pleasant. Ooh. Hmm. I might go with him this time. I like the idea of the fireplace. I mean, you're at a beach house. Are you going to sit in the doors and watch TV? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, sometimes it's nice. No, we're going to do, we're going to do fire. Yeah, we're going to go with the fireplace. Okay, decision two. Nice. So it looks like we have a list of things we have to do according to what they want. I need to clean some windows. Um, but what do we have? So we have this kitchen. We got a bedroom and a bathroom. Very simple, but in each of these rooms oh doesn't look like we have anything to do in here okay I mean I just want to get to like well I, oh look at the colors okay hang on a second here we got to look at the store really quick okay so yeah so we have to do specific things remove certain objects place exactly these objects so you know instead of just me searching through and trying to you know find this stuff with you guys I'm gonna just go ahead and change this room I'm just gonna do it the way they need to do it and then maybe maybe we can unlock it and do it the way we want to do it but for now let's uh, I just want to quickly look at the tab or the store and see what kind of new stuff we've gotten oh we go up here there's an HGTV tab okay 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 so these are some of the new things guys Oh, wow. Oh, violet bubble tiles. Oh, my gosh. So we've got, I thought I saw those before. I thought I saw maybe that was a design on something else. But we've got a whole new set of tiles to work with. Very nice. We've got, oh, they've given us glasses. Whiskey glasses. Oh, oh my God, a bowl of fruit. A bowl of fruit? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It looks like fruit too. Apples and oranges, you guys. We've got apples and oranges. Oh my gosh, okay. We've got some salad bowls. What are the, we got napkins. That's amazing. Uh, we've got milk jugs. We've got all these utensils. We've got jars, more fruit and bananas. We got all these plates to choose. Oh, we have a tea kettle. And oh my gosh, a doll and some doll. Oh my gosh, you guys. Are you kidding? Okay, this stuff is worth it already. It's already worth it. So we got floor tiles. Oh my goodness, look at these carpets and stuff we got. We've got, let's see, furniture. We got some new furniture. I'm just whipping through the skies really fast, but just to get, oh, look at these cute little bookcase. Oh my gosh, we got some really modern looking stuff. <gasps> we got a corner shelf. We've got a corner shelf. A corner shelf? Is that, oh my goodness. That is so, oh, I wonder if they fit together with the other ones, like how we, you know, we're trying to do our kitchen last time. Bunk beds, more bunk beds. What is, 
is this a bench seat? Oh my goodness, we got so much more stuff. Chairs, look at these funky chairs. Oh, wow, okay, 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 okay. So we got lots of, we got doors and doorways. We just have the frames. Oh, look at these doors, they're so fancy. And we got more lamps. Oh my goodness, you guys. Nice, very nice. Okay, bathroom, we got showers. Jean shower without tray, so we can make our own shower. We got mirrors. Oh my goodness, look at this beach mirror. And a buoy mirror. Oh my God, we got faces. You guys, isn't that what we're... So excited, I can't talk. Oh, we got some pictures too. I was just talking about needing more like knickknacks and stuff, right? Like to put on our shelves. And we have new kitchen. Oh, we have built-in stove. We got a new stove. We got the white stove. We've got like, oh, and this is built in. Look at these cupboards, you guys. Oh my gosh, we got stacking oven. We are gonna have some fancy houses coming up. Look at all this, oh my gosh, there's so much kitchen stuff. And we have, oh my goodness, we have a stove top. That is cool, I was so sick of that one with the green on it. That is so amazing. We could put our stove anywhere we want. And we got hood fans. Speakers, amplifiers. Whoa, we got so much new stuff. Moldings. Oh, wow, we can put moldings up. So we can put them halfway too, so we can have a chair molding. And we can put them, really? So do they come in all the sizes? Like, are we gonna be able to piece this together? Is there pieces for the corner? So how does that work? I just wanna see, guys. I just wanna see. I know I'm wasting the budget here, but I just wanna see how this works. Oh my goodness, they just mold together in the corners. That is amazing. Wow, okay, that that makes me so happy, so happy. We got firewood and a tea set and new fireplaces. Look at these modern fire, oh, dream catchers. Oh, and some beautiful little furniture and a dog bed, you guys. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so that's a look at some of the new stuff. Of course, we're gonna look at that more in detail, but for now, guys, I'm gonna do what they want me to do, and we'll get this place um, kind of set up. So I think they wanted this thing gone, and they wanted a wardrobe, wardrobe gone. Which one is the wardrobe, is this it? Well, I guess they'll probably not let me sell, oh, there, there we go. Yeah, that was the one, okay, okay. And then we have to place these objects. And let's just go in here. Is there anything I need to do in here? Nothing at all. Is there anything I need to do in here? Nothing at all. So all we're doing is this and the downstairs, I guess. Okie dokie. Well, that shouldn't be too bad. Okay, guys, I have added and removed what they wanted. This is how she kind of looks. I think it's all done. Um, there's nothing about paint or anything, so we'll have to see if we have any room in the budget to do any more, but I think the upstairs is done. I've gone downstairs and I have, I just kind of changed things around a little bit too, just because it seemed like a really big room, so I moved the little bench they had. I can't get rid of anything else, um, like it won't let me, so I have to work with what they have. I've gone downstairs and I've just kind of cleaned up the the little sauna bathroom, I guess they want us to put in. Where, how did we get in here again? Here it is. And uh, yeah, so I, I mean, they want me to again put specific things in. So we gotta put this ceramic tile in. 
Oh, and it's floor panel in this room. Okay, that's a little weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and place all this stuff and then I'll just show you what it looks like. Okay, guys. Wow, this is a really small little bathroom. It actually worked out okay, but it's just a little bit weird because when you open the door to the inside, yeah, you can't even get to the sink. But anyway, this is what they wanted in here. This is what they got. We got a little sauna room here with a light and the sauna heater. Um, that's about all we can really fit. They wanted a sauna door. So I think this worked out pretty good. We are under budget of, you know, at 2000 or whatever. So I'm, I'm not sure what to do. Like, I mean, we could spend the rest of the money on what needs to be done. Um, everything is done, it says. So it doesn't even want me to pick weeds or anything. I mean, we could, it would make it, but I mean, if that's, if that's what they wanted. So if I'm under budget, I'm not sure if I get a bonus or if that just means they miss out because they don't get to get their money's worth. I don't know. All right, guys, I think we're going to end this job. I just kind of added a couple of little finishing touches. Um, I have not spent all the budget, but I'm not making any more money for it. So I think, um, I think we're just going to end it. This door's opening the wrong way. Hmm, okay, there's nothing I could do about it. But yeah, I just kind of added a few little things. Nothing nothing too crazy, but I'd rather just kind of maybe, you know, go crazy when we actually can buy this house and do what we want. So uh, I think we're going to leave it at that. I, I like the way it turned out. I'm glad I pulled this couch and stuff forward. But, uh, and then I kind of moved the table and stuff. I didn't like where it was. But other than that, we just added some outdoor kind of sitting area, some wine glasses so they can enjoy the view. So pretty out here. But let's uh, let's finish this job and see what this does for us. So we've completed 100%. Uh, yeah, like our budget did not go, or our amount of money that we would make did not go up. So let's complete this job. Oh, and here's the before and after. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. I like this feature. All cleaned up. Oh, that's so neat. I love that they're doing this. Okay, so now we have unlocked that house. It looks like now we have a couple more houses to choose from. Um, Part of me wants to buy this house and then put my own spin on it, but also another part of me wants to see what these other houses look like. So what is this one? So this one is a $3,000 budget. This one's $8,000. Um, you know what? Let's go have a look at this one. So this is the, they spent all their money and they only have a limited budget. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we have here. Okay, this is, oh, it's so cool to see some different designs and houses. Well, this has the, kind of like the ground level windows again. Oh, look at this. It has like a, a loft. Very nice. Okay, so this is a decision room. There's a little dining room. Nothing going on in here. Let's go upstairs and check it out. Little bedroom little bathroom and another so was there only one decision to make in this house is there anything else to this house there's a backyard that we can't what's this is this part of oh this is like its own little oh oh we just didn't see this this is just another room okay okay but it has access to the outside. Weird. Okay, neat. Um, and then we have scaffolding. All right, I wonder why we have scaffolding. What's this? Is this just the back door? It's a little storage. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, no, we're back in the kitchen. Okay. Okay, all right. Um, so let us, uh, well, we've got a lot of cleaning to do. I mean, obviously, there's lots of dirt in this place. There's a lot of dirt in this place. My goodness, after we clean the dirt, it's going to actually look not too bad. It goes all the way up. 
Like, look how bright it's getting. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. All right. Well, that looks better already. Good. Oh, good. even the fireplace was dirty. Okay. Yeah. Let me get this place cleaned up. I'll check and see if we have some windows to clean up too. Oh my gosh. Look at the cupboards even. Yeah. I'll get this place cleaned up and we'll be back guys. Look what I found guys. Oh, there was a little Easter egg in here. We found a safe in the closet. This must be the forgotten safe of the captain that lived here a hundred years ago. After selling the precious notes and jewelry found inside, the budget significantly increased. This allows us to plan something more for both kitchen and bathroom. Check that out. I was just cleaning away and look what I find. That is really, really cool. Okay, cool. That I just love these little hidden gems. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so what is our... Oh, yeah. So now we only... We have like $8,000 again. Awesome. Very awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Um, now, I just... I have a little bit more cleaning to do outside. The house is very, very dirty. Like the outside of the house, too. So we're going to just grab the scaffolding scaffolding and we're gonna slowly carry it to this side because I couldn't reach something okay I've been all around this house and I must have I must have gotten it already I must have been able to reach it from another angle because I could see this dirt and I don't see it now so I think we're actually good outside yeah, I thought it was like way up there and I would need the scaffolding for it, but okay, I guess we're going up anyway. Um, hmm, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there, but we still have uh, a little bit of cleaning. Where do we have to go? I'm checking my mini map here. Looks like under the stairs here, or oh, the stairs, the actual stairs. Okay. And let's just see what else we're missing here. Where's that? Where's that little bit? There we go. Okay, so I just got a little bit more cleaning, I guess, to do in this room. And a little bit more in these rooms, and then I think we should be good to go. Ta-da! All right, nice, okay. So, now we got a bunch of stuff to do in this house. It says I'm still missing some dirt. Oh, here it is. I missed this room entirely. And this corner. Is that it now? I think, I think we got it all. Okay, now let's see what our decisions are for this thing. What changes shall we introduce to the kitchen? This mirror fits and looks like a window. Let's keep it. We will just buy a few more lamps to keep the place brighter. What? Let's remove the fluorescent lights and the mirror from above the sink and so we can lay elegant wall tiles and mount a new mirror by the fridge. I don't want a mirror above the sink, so I think we're going to go with this one. And I am sure of that. I should have really had a look. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Yeah, there is no window in here. Window would be nice there. I could see this point, but no, we're going to get rid of that. Okay. And was there any other decisions to make in this house? I don't think so. Okay. So now we're going to have to get rid of some stuff. Small fluorescent light. Is that that one? I guess we can just go ahead and just spam remove. And here there's nothing that needs to be done. And here, there's nothing that needs to be removed. I'm hoping that we get to get rid of this bed downstairs. Nothing that needs to be removed in here. Nothing in here. All right. There's a lot of dark wood paneling in this place. But I just want to see, do we get to get rid of this? Oh, thank goodness. Thank, oh, here's another decision. Okay. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. What would be the best use of our extra budget here? A cupboard, shelf, and new tiles would be enough. We will utilize the extra budget 
elsewhere. Let's go crazy with the bathroom and add a second sink, modern shower, and a toilet. Let's not stop there and also install new cupboards and tiles. Let's go crazy. We found that money. We can splurge a little bit. So it looks like we're going to be getting rid of that and that. Okay. All right. All right. So now we have some work to do. So let's get started. Looks like we're going to be removing this carpet. Thank goodness. And placing some dark mahogany floor paneling. So let's get that done. Okay, well, I changed the floor in this place, but I'm kind of thinking, guys, we're going to end this episode here. I want to hear your thoughts on how we should how we should approach this new HGTV DLC. Because part of me thinks it would be kind of neat to come in, clean up the house, make it the way they want it want it made, um, but then go back and rebuy it and do it the way we want to and whether or not like we should follow the same budget and see what we can do within the same budget it'll be really tough because like artwork especially the custom stuff is is pretty expensive so could be very very limited um but in a way i kind of want to almost like do the jobs the way they're supposed to be done and then and then grab the house and and do it the way we want to do it and kind of see like you know the difference but it's going to mean that we're going to be running through the series a lot slower so we're not going to see some of the new houses for quite a while on the map but um so i kind of want to hear what you guys think and you know see what what you guys want me to do because I can, I can do it either way. It doesn't really matter. I'm excited to see all the houses. So I kind of, you know, part of me wants to burn through all the jobs and just kind of check them out. But the jobs kind of are tedious and I find them very limiting because I can't do what I want. So we could quickly do the jobs and I don't have to kind of show doing them. I could just kind of show you the before and after because like I said, you don't get a lot of choice. You can add your own stuff as decoration, but it kind of seems pointless if I'm going to come back and do it on my own. So anyway, guys, let me know. I, I'm just so excited about all the new stuff just in general. Like the, the tablet is just full of new items that I can't wait to play with. So yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to explore this more. Let me know what you guys think, how we should approach it. And then next time, either what I can do is come back in and finish this job, or we can go back and buy the other house and kind of put our own little spin on it. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. So excited for the new DLC. Let me know if you guys are getting it, and we will see you guys all next time. Bye for now.